Hi, my name is Tyler Randall, and today I will be talking about the future of augmented reality. Everybody has heard of virtual reality, but I bet a few of you have never heard of augmented reality, even though we have seen or experienced a little bit of it here and there. For example, when you watch football games on TV, the yellow line that shows the viewers where the first down boundary is at is a good example of augmented reality. What is augmented reality? The process of pulling graphics out of your television screen or computer display and integrating them into a real world environment. This new technology called augmented reality blurs the line between what's real and what's computer generated by enhancing what we see and hear. How does it work? Well, the most basic idea of augmented reality is to superimpose graphics, uh, audio, and other sensory enhancements over a real world environment in real time. The main hardware components for augmented reality are display, tracking, input devices, sensors, and a processor. What are the possibilities with augmented reality? Almost endless. Multi screen simulation displays multiple application windows as virtual monitors in real space and switch among them with gestures and or redirecting head and eyes. A single pair of glasses could surround a user with application windows. X-ray vision, you can superimpose internal organs or a skeleton on any given body, which is extremely useful in the medical field. Furnishings, a virtual window could show a live feed of a camera placed on the exterior of a building thus allowing the user to toggle a wall's transparency. Uh, Group-specific feeds, for example, a construction manager could display instructions including diagrams at specific locations, and patrons at a public event could subscribe to a feed and or directions for program notes. I have a video on uh, the Augment Reality windshield, and uh, this go. is one of the more advanced technologies that we're working on in the human machine interface department at General Motors. This system is called the Enhanced Vision System, and what it allows us to do is augment reality. What I mean by that is that it allows us, using transparent display technology, which is the windshield, it allows us to highlight objects in the real world by highlighting them with images on the, on the display. The, the Enhanced Vision System is comprised of a bunch of forward-looking sensors infrared sensors, visible uh, cameras, uh, potentially radar, night vision systems, a variety of sensors looking forward on the, on, on the vehicle, as well as cameras in the vehicle to track a, a driver's position in space. So that what we can do is align the image that we draw on the transparent display with external objects in the real world, therefore augmenting the, or highlighting those those objects on the real world to enhance the driver's ability to see them. This is useful for two reasons. It's useful to enhance safety, highlighting the edges of road, highlighting if you have a night vision system animals on the side of the road, and it can also be used to enhance driver experience. Enhancing a driver's experience by navigation by landmark. We talk about the last hundred yard problem where with this, with this system instead of having a GPS system tell you you have arrived, this system can actually highlight the building at that you have arrived at, your, lo your destination. Could augmented reality make mechanics obsolete? I have a video saying maybe. Release two screws. Next set. Remove intake duct. Next step. 
Install fan cowl and snap in. There's also a whole new world opening up that could change your whole perspective on shopping from home with uh, this example. Here it shows you can do it with the computer, but soon enough uh, you could be trying on anything you see in display windows or etc. Here I have an example of what it could possibly be envisioned, augmented reality in the next 10 years, possibly. Cup of tea. Fill kettle with two hot plus one PG tips tea bag in a clean mug. Good. Now get the skim milk from the refrigerator. Carefully pour boiling water into the mug. 
You're doing great. While you're waiting for the tea to brew, why not browse some recipe suggestions to help you decide on a dinner that will satisfy your What's holding augmented reality back now? Augmented reality still has some challenges to overcome. Example, GPS is only accurate to within 30 feet. It doesn't work as well indoors. An improved image recognition technology is a must for a more fluid augmented reality experience. Faster processors, sharper cameras, more accurate sensors, etc. Are there any ethical issues? The most obvious ethical issue is people losing a grip on reality. When the technology becomes much more fluid and mainstream, people could lose their entire sense of reality. Augmented reality gaming is getting much closer on the horizon as far as finding your augmented self in a gaming environment instead of just on the TV. We are already being blasted with advertising on almost every medium as it is. Throwing augmented reality in that mix would be like throwing jet fuel on the fire. In my conclusion, augmented reality is the next big thing. It will absolutely revolutionize almost every aspect of life we have. Everything from medicine to education to construction to entertainment, everything. Augmented reality applications are already starting to appear on the world's laptops, tablets, smartphones, but from what you've seen today, it's a far cry from what it could be and will be. Keep an eye out for your new... AR glasses coming soon. If you have any questions, email me on Angel and I'll try my best to answer you. Uh, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.